This problem is another typical problem. It's a lamppost problem and basically it relates to similar triangles. So here it says that we have a person walking away from the lamp at a rate of 1.5 meters per second. And we want to know the rate at which the shadow is changing. Okay, so the shadow is this length here. And we'll call that S. Okay, so that's our, the shadow. Okay, so we want to find ds by dt. So basically, we have the height of the lamp. Okay, so I should actually put a height in here. So let's say that this is 15 feet. Okay, and we'll say that the distance x, we'll find the distance, uh, the rate when x is equal to, uh, let's say that's 10 feet. Okay, so the position is at 10 feet, and we know that they're walking at a constant rate of 1.5 meters per second. So <clears throat> this person is, uh, we'll say that this person is six feet tall. So we have these parameters around this problem. We need to be able to relate the shadow length to the length of x. And to do that, we're going to use a similar triangle. So if we take a look at this triangle here, the big one, okay, we know that the ratio of rise to run, or 15, to x plus s, that ratio is equivalent to the smaller triangle that involves just s. That's going to be 6 to just s. Okay, so <clears throat> what we can then do is, once we have this connected, we can actually just differentiate this with respect to s. Now, we can differentiate this implicitly. However, it's not necessary to do that because we can simplify this first before we differentiate this. So we get 15s is equal to 6x plus 6s. And what that ends up doing is when we combine the like terms, we end up with 9s equals 6x. So we know that the value of s due to the similar triangles is going to be two-thirds the length of x. Okay, Based on the similar triangle of 6 feet to 15 feet of height, the ratio of the length of s to x is two-thirds of x. Okay, so once we have that relationship, we're just going to find ds by dt by differentiating with respect to time, and that's going to be two-thirds, and differentiate x with respect to time is going to be dx by dt. So then this basically is a ratio. The speed at which the shadow changes is going to be two-thirds the speed at which the x changes. So two-thirds times dx by dt, which is 1.5 meters per second. I'm just going to highlight that here. Okay, and then our ds by dt then, our ds by dt works out to be, uh, it's going to be one meter per second.